Hello everyone. In our last video, we implemented Twitter real-time streaming code, which extracts the required data and uploads the data into S3. In this video, we'll try to understand what is EC2 and how to deploy our code in EC2 server. So, what are the typical server components? We know it. Right? So, CPU, RAM, memory, you know, operating system. So, not just this, right? We need to take care of when you when we are building a server. We also need to take care of networking uninterrupted power supply and the cooling agents above all we also need to think about replacing the damaged hardware right let's say if the cpu ram storage has some fault we need to replace it let's say whatever the cpu ram which we are currently using is not su sufficient for our you know the new application then we need to think about scaling those hardwares right all this mess that i need to take care of right so now i need a server where i don't want to worry about all these points right we, as we discussed in our you know previous list what i need is i need this simple ui where i can fill all the details like ram cpu storage etc and that should create a server for me right and also i need you know, to i don't want to take care about you know the networking power supply scaling right all those things so that's where ec2 comes into the place which is nothing but elastic compute cloud is one of the most popular AWS services which is available right now we'll we'll jump into uh, AWS console and we'll try to uh, you know create one EC2 server for deploying our code yeah so here is our EC2 So I can click on instance. Yeah, now I can say I don't have any EC2 servers, so that's why it's empty here. So I say launch instance. So these are the you know uh, operating system so aws their own linux operating system we have red hat susi ubuntu right we have windows right and if you notice right so uh, there's something called highlighted like free tier eligible right so aws offers you know few of their services uh, so free maybe for a uh, couple of months year or lifetime so ec2 server is one of them where they will offer you know free for one of the, one year but yeah, there are some terms and conditions which we'll see, right? So now let me select the first one. Yeah, so this is what I'm talking about, right? You can choose uh, how many number of CPUs you want, the RAM you want, right? And the storage you want, right? And what would be, what is your expected networking performance, right? Whether we need high latency or low latency, whatever, right? You can mention everything here. And for our purpose, obviously, we we'll use free time, right? So, which is called T2 Micro, which has one CPU and one GB RAM, right? I selected it, right? Now, in case if you want to, you know, uh, change any values, you can change it here. But yeah, we are not interested. Now, I can say launch. So, here I need to select the key right so what it helps is like instead of you provide your you know the password you can upload this key right so what it does is so whatever so uh, you are typing right so obviously right so you created a server somehow you need to connect to the server right so so we use ssh so via putty uh, some other tool will connect to aws uh, linux server and you know we'll type our commands there and all those commands has to be encrypted right so when we are sending those commands from our system right so this is the key which i am planning to use now it's a launch instance it, it will take a couple of seconds so it says your instance are launching now so i'll say view instance yeah yeah it's up and running now now you know we need to connect to the server right so uh, mostly uh, the linux servers will not have ui like what we have for the windows 
there are few you know the linux server which has ui right but uh, uh, when you are working with the linux you should be you know familiar with ssh uh, tools right so ssh will help you to connect to the linux server from your windows or in fact even from the other linux systems and mac systems right so so now we'll have something like a command prompt uh, a window where you can run your you know commands on the server right so i'll be using mobile extreme that's one of the tool so alternate for the putting right so now i'll create a new session which is ssh which is what uh, we are talking about and we need the remote host which is an ip public ip address of our ec2 server which is here i can copy from here now by default the user will be ec2 user and uh, we we uh, need to use the key which we selected you know when we we created ec2 server i already have it in my local machine i'm just browsing it here so which is under advanced ssh settings use private key browse it And say okay now it's trying to connect I'm just trying to zoom in a little bit what happened come on okay I'm able to I'm, I'm able to manage the zoom in now <clears throat> the very first thing is it says right runs uh, sudo m update because in case if there are any changes or new updates right it will update your tool sorry uh, server <coughs> now what we need to do is we need to check the python version that comes okay which is uh, 2.7 so obviously 2. Uh, python 2 is deprecated so we'll we'll try to install python 3 sudo and install python 3 we also need pip Yeah, now let's see if we got Python 3. Yeah, 3.7.8. Point 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 right? So now, obviously, I need to install the required packages. The packages which we need is uh, TweePy. No, oh, it will throw an error because we have to run this command as an admin. So do you? is an admin command <coughs> and we need to do pip3 install go to 3 also we need aws cli we discussed why we need this in our previous session Now to store our you know uh, AWS credentials uh, in operating system, I should run this right AWS configure. <coughs> so I'm passing the video to enter those credentials. Yeah, I entered uh, those details. Now we need to upload the uh, Python code. So there are many ways to upload. So Mobile Extreme will provide you an option where you can upload from here only. So in case if you are using Putty. So you can use WinSAP that is another tool where you can you know upload or download your files to Linux to Windows another way around. So The file is uploading you can see the progress here now it is uploaded 
So you can say ls. So it will give the list of files which is available in this particular folder, right? So now let's try to run this code. Python three stream dot It's running now. Let's open uh, that Twitter. Yeah. So let's tweet. We know we are using a hashtag called EMBO. Yeah, it tweeted. Yeah. So we are just printing the username. Right now we'll go back to S3 and see if the file is uploaded. This is the bucket we are using, and we know which format we are storing year, right? Month, and then date. So today date is 12th. If you go here, yeah, we got the file here, right? So, which means uh, uh, it is working. So, our streaming code is working, it is extracting the data <coughs> from Twitter, and from that free data, it again extracting the required information, whatever we need, and it is uploading into S3. So there is some other person who uploaded the who who you know tweeted with, with the required hashtag right now what are the approach you know uh, which we are following has some problem right so now we, we ran our streaming code like this python3 you know and tweet.py right so as soon as you close this comment i mean uh, this uh, uh, mobile extreme or party uh, it it will literally stop the Python code, right? So even if I stop my putty or you know, uh, any of the SS tool, my Python code should be still up and running in the background, right? For that, there is a uh, command called no hub Python three. So now what it does is it will uh, uh, even if you close this you know uh, terminal your python code will be up and running in the background right so hope you enjoy this video in our next video we'll see how to build a machine learning model for you know predicting if the customer is happy or not using some you no know, natural language processing techniques thank you please don't forget to subscribe to my channel